Yo, what it do, man? We back at it, man. Today, man, I'm in Englewood, New Jersey, man, at the Rev Run uh, facilities, man, where they cater to event space. And then we in the back, man. We in the studio. I forgot the name, man. It's called the Back Office Studio. The back Office Studios, Englewood. Formerly, yo, to my culture, a little history culture, formerly One West. Yes. And to my Englewood historians who already know about it, you know, this place is legendary, personally, just for the community within itself, man. Nice. But Yo, appreciate the upgrade. It's 2024. It's a new era. It's a new regime. And we in the building, my man, Ron Thomas. Yes, man. my guy. Mr. Order. Good. Mr. Ordinary, man. I call <laughs> you Mr. Ordinary for a lot of reasons. I know you're going to probably say why. It's just because you're so smooth and laid back with it. Yes, yes, it's yes, real yes. Or, it's, it's nothing. It's, 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 not a, it's not a lot of flash, pizzazz. It's just real laid back. Yeah. But you confident. Yes, absolutely. So that's absolutely, why I call man. you Mr. Ordinary. My God. A lot of cats be just be... Everywhere with yeah. them, and uh, yo, I've been following, I've been watching, I've been paying attention, man. And uh, man, salute to you first and oh, foremost man. in your career, your path, your journey. Yes, man. Your Thank brother you. that's wearing a lot of hats. Yes. You know what I mean? And we're gonna talk about those different hats that you wear, but you're successful in each and every one of them. Yes. And um, thank you for having me, man. Oh, man, thank, time, thank you man. for having me, man. It's a pleasure, man. And before we even start, I know this show is all about giving flowers, man. I wanna give you your flowers because you're providing this platform for people. Who look just like me and you, um, and it's black excellence. Appreciate that. Bro. And some of these people I've I've, shared, I've exchanged energy with, some I don't know, but it's, it's inspiring, man. So I uh, appreciate you, man. Yo, thank you, man. Thank the coach sure. for rocking with me, man. But um, yo, man, y your story to me is definitely a story of a marathon runner. Oh my gosh. You know, it's been a journey, um, trials, tribulations. Well, the most important has been growth. Yes. And I, I first got, I ain't going front, I first got in tune with you, man, to a cat, man, Inglewood cat, man, Haas had you on a joint with him. Yeah, shout out to Haas, man. I think if he's not home, he'll be home shout soon. Shout out to Haas, he's home. Yeah, he's, he's home, he's home, 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 right? He's home. Shout out to, to my boy Haas. And yeah. that whole family, too, Yes, man. absolutely. Um, I heard you on that first joint, and I said, yo, I'm a, I come from that era of hip-hop. Right, right. With the R&B, so I'm mm -hmm. like, yo, my thing was, who is that singing? I said, wow, that was legendary, a, legendary, that was a man. great marriage for y'all yes, like yes. yo bro for real yo that really and Haas is my man I respect his music but I was like who who are you <laughs> yeah. because I just come from that and mm -hmm. I thought it was very clever so I'm that yo that was crazy how many years what year was that man <sighs> Shit. that was a win that, that was, was like early that was probably like mid 2000s yes mid 2000s yes yeah Haas just um Haas my cousin Ali it's his uh, kid's mom. Okay, so that's how that so, came yes, yeah, So she reached out. You know, okay. he, heard, he heard my music. He loved it. And, you know, with me, man, I work with anybody as long as I like the music. Right. And it was fire to me, man. And, I, you know, they sent me the uh, music. I sent it right back. And then probably like a week later, he was like, yo, we shooting a video for this joint. Yeah, and that was so, classic, too. Yeah, that, yeah. that video was definitely essence back then. Yeah. You know, showed, fire you know video. what I mean? It, it definitely stamped you guys mm -hmm. as artists, independent artists, yes. coming together, making something real fire. So shout out that collaboration. Yeah, for sure. But yo, man, for the culture, man, where did your R&B roots start at, man? Oh, man. Um, as far as I can remember, man, it started in Harlem, Wagner okay. Projects. All right. <laughs> Um, Harlem World. Yes, my grandparents, they had this VHS tape of Michael Jackson and the Jackson 5. It was a documentary. Mm. And when I put that tape on, man, it did something to me. You know what I'm saying? Michael Jackson, the way they were singing, the, the coordination, the dance moves, the music. And um, and I just started mimicking Mike. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like singing. I, who yeah, didn't know? Yeah, yeah. Who didn't? But... I actually sounded good. I sound good. You right. know what I'm saying? And that was the difference. You had yeah, a voice. Yeah. So I remember my mom saying, like, Ron, like, that's you? I'm like, yeah. She was like, yo, you sound good. And then um, also, my father was in a singer group. My father was signed. Okay. Um, so he was touring. He did musical plays like Mama, I Want to Sing. Okay. I'm not sure if you're familiar with I that. I went to see that. And, yeah, oh, yeah. I went so to see that years my, ago. Yeah, my dad was in that joint. So I, I, it's definitely like. It's R rooted in you. It's rooted. It's okay, definitely I see rooted. that. I see that. Especially growing up in Harlem. Grandparents having that that soul in them. Yes, you know absolutely. What I'm saying? Your pops running around doing his greatness. Yo. You know what I mean? And you just being baby, the baby of the bunch, just soaking everything up, man. Yeah, man. But when did you realize that you had something? Like at what age? Because you know, Mike's career for us, seeing him, I saw him as a kid, mm -hmm. and I felt like when I first saw him, I wanted to sing, even though I couldn't sing. 
but he that's what he did. Mm -hmm. He made us as a black youth, young kids growing up, want to be <laughs> entertainers. Man, I wanna yeah, be an I want to do that. He, he, just, he was so fly with it. So for you, I mean, it captured you, but you ran with it. Yes. That's why I yes. say your life is so like a marathon. Yeah. Because it started out at a young age. Yes. You kind of sitting in the bleachers paying attention. And you gradually made your way to the field. Yeah, so and you but you started to make your journey. It it so it started with R and B, but then it like gradually shifted over to rapping. Cause that was the thing. You know what I mean? And um I was probably like, this is I'm I'm gonna skip up a couple years, around 15, 14 years old, me and my best friend, I don't know if you know him, Bathgate. I heard of him. Yeah, you heard of really him, right? Bad. Yes, yes, shout out to Bath. You know, we started um writing rhymes and stuff like that. But my rhymes was a little different. I was putting melodies behind my rhyme. And kind of like singing before it was even. Yo, that's what I'm saying. So I, and then I was singing on hooks and ramen. But at the time, they was like, you can't do both. That's crazy. At that time. At that time, I'm 15, 14 years old. They're like, yo, you can't really. That don't work. You know, you rhyme, you rapping, and then singing. And guess what we? Guess who's on top of the charts right now? Right. Rapping and singing. But and you already had the whole blueprint of what you wanted right. to do. But us being not knowledgeable to the game and so one track minded, right. like I've said in so many other interviews, we get so stuck on this pattern. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you fight it a little bit harder though? Um, because I I kind of agreed at the time. Okay, because I respect it. you know at that time we you didn't see people. You didn't see nobody. I, didn't, I, I never, I've didn't never seen, seen it. I've never seen it before. And it was like, yo, let me ask you this: being able to sing at that young age, did it shy you away? From like, nah, it's more cooler to be the rapper? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. I definitely thought it was more cooler to be a rapper. You know, um, on the weekends, I, w I was with my pops at Manhattan Real Projects. And, you know, that was what the culture was. It was Mob Deep, Nas, Illmatic. You know what I'm saying? So we was like mimicking them. We was talking street stuff. We wasn't in the streets. Right. So that's why they was like, how you talk about shelling drugs and, and killing people <laughs> and you singing? So it, it, didn't, it didn't work at the time. But hindsight, it's like... That shit was genius. It was. You know what I mean? Imagine if you would have stuck with it. Come on. You'd have been kind of to the moon by now. That's and, a fact. And past yeah. that point. That's so a you, fact. So you decided to sway more to the the cool side. Yeah, you at that time. The cool side. Yeah, at, at that, that time at, at it that was time. the cool side. At that time, and then I um. But your passion for your singing was still in the building because you oh, were yeah. mixing it. That never, that never leaves. Okay. That never leaves. Okay. That, like you said, it's root, it's deeply rooted in me. You know what I'm but saying? Was it a conflict within yourself? When you step away from the team and it's just you, you know, you home and you writing, but you writing, but you singing. Nah, it wasn't a conflict. Um, okay. I breathe R and B music, bro. So it's okay, like it's, so you was cool. It was it's more like therapy, like you know what I'm saying. All like right, even right, if right. even if I got if I write if I'm writing poetry and I'm putting melodies to it, even if I don't even show them, I still got that. You still had so your it's baby. No yeah, it's no okay. conflict, man. But then I moved I moved um, down south to go to high school. Okay. And um. You know, down south, the high schools are like college campuses. Yes. What part of the south? Um, um, South Carolina, something South Carolina. Okay, you from all right? Yeah. Some people's from Orangeburg and Boulder. Okay, that's that's close. That's close. Yeah. And um, yo, man, I, I never forget, man. I walked in that high school, man. You had like singing groups in each corner, everybody practicing, and they sounding crazy. I'm like, yo, this. Is, I'm by myself at the time. I ain't really make my stamp in the school yet, so I'm just you paying figuring, attention. I'm paying attention, seeing who's who. And um, this one group named Family Ties, man, I, they just caught my attention. And I was like, yo, these are the guys that I need to be with. And um, like a month or so, they did a, like a school talent show and they destroyed that shit, B. And I was like, yo, I got to link with these niggas because these are the niggas I got to I gotta get in this group with these dudes. Right. They fire the girls is going crazy over them. And um, to speed up the process, man, we, we linked up. And my boy Dap, he was just like, yo, man, we looking for a fourth member, man. You know, I need you to audition for my, my moms and my pops, because they was managing them at the time. Right. I went to their crib. I killed that shit. They was like, yo, you in the group. And the next school talent show, I was with them niggas. And we yeah, destroyed, bodied. bodied that shit. So that, then that was like, R&B is it. I don't care about rhyme and none of that. Yeah, right. I don't I know, even, yeah. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Right, right. My now, purpose is this. Let me ask you this. Now, would you think, do you really think, because let's just take it real quick back. We went back, we in Harlem. Now we in the South. Right. We singing. Right. It's like we left the hip hop to do the doo bop. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But that's where your heart was at. Did you ever try to bring your rapping 
with you down to South Carolina? Yes. I, oh, I, I, that's, okay. I loved it. So, you know what I'm saying? I, oh, when they was having sessions and all that, I was, oh, I was okay. spitting. You know what I'm okay. saying? Like, but you didn't make that the full-time I didn't, job. I didn't, I didn't make you that the full-time that, job. So it was like the flip. It was like the it was coin the flip. Because when you was up top with us, yo, we hip. What's up? Yeah. I'm down <laughs> south. I'm... What? What are we doing? I'm, with, I'm giving out roses. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So now, yo, you're in high school down there. Do you finish going to school down there? Do you do the whole four um, year term down I there? I don't do the I don't do the four year term. I did two years there. I came back home after my sophomore year. I came back home. I was playing ball because I, I played ball too. I was okay. nice. I, I was on an AAU circuit and I got a scholarship to Lawrenburg Prep. Okay. So I left. So I'm now in North Carolina now. You just, you just <laughs> I'm, I'm all over the place. You're kind of playing the charts. Yeah, yeah, on the low. yeah, yeah. But I'm a, I just think I'm a super talented guy. I do so many things, man, and I'm good at them. You know what I'm saying? So I got the scholarship to Lombard. Um, I'm still rhyming. I'm still singing, and I graduate from there. I get back home. My best friend got a record deal. Okay. Bab got a record deal now. Right. Virgin Records. So I get home. I'm like, yo, I don't want to go to college. I want to just do music full time. And um, at the time, Bath was signed. We was running up in Def Jam, Baseline Studios with Hov and Kanye West. Kanye West and, and Just Blaze did his whole first album. Wow. So I'm in that, I'm in that mix. Yeah, you in that, you in that pot. And I'm singing for everybody. As you should. Right. Now you already right. know. Yeah, yeah. You already know what's going on. There's no more shy guys, no, no. more should I could no, this is the opportunity. And my that I boy, need. and my boy getting that opportunity, that made me feel like, yo, if he can do it, I can, I can do it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So and ever since, man, I've been I've been rocking and doing R&B music. You know what I'm saying? I might throw you a little 12, 16. As you bar, should, though. You know what I'm saying? As you should, Every just for the culture. Just for the culture. You know what I'm saying? You know but, what I mean? But sure. now, you got to think about this, though. His his career, it goes to a certain length. Mm -hmm. You watching it. I'm asking you this because um, some people just so get caught up in the hype, they don't see the smoke and mirrors. Right. Do you pay attention to what's really going on in the industry? Absolutely. Absolutely. And not just this, you know, green, we just growl. You know what I mean? And this has nothing to do with what's going on at this current moment because this is an artist. So we're talking about game. I need everybody to understand yeah, that. Sure. This is not about the hype that's going on. Bless that family. But, you know, you you in the cut, but you're, you're paying attention to, to what's going on in the every, industry. To every detail, to right. every little detail, man. And I realized that it wasn't what you thought. It's not what you, it's not what you when think. When you was on the outside it's, looking in. It's not what you when think. When you were down south singing with your these, team these down there that people, had these dreams to be up here, and now you're really it's doing a, it. It's a different ball game. These people aren't your friends. They're just business partners, and um, and that, it's just that. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep it at that, man. And um, I always kept that in the back of my mind. And then also, Bath went through a lot of shit, you know, with the industry, man. And, you know, he was 19, 20 years old when he got his deal. So, you know, it was, it was a lot of publishing that was gone. And, and we don't know yeah, that. Yeah, we don't yeah. understand. And we just, we just want to get a sign. Right. I, I know the time, the era. We hungry. We not understanding. That don't make us dumb. That just don't make us knowledgeable. Right. And right. sometimes the loss is the lesson. Right. So, you know what I mean? But the reason why I ask you that, because sometimes you may see it. The other side of something, and maybe like, nah, I don't, maybe I don't really want to do this. Mm -hmm. And that's and that's how I am now with with any business today. Um, all money is not good money, man. Right. And my production company, Kingsman, that's like one of our mission statements is to always do great business. Okay. Period. Everybody should eat. You know what I'm saying? Right. You split it up right, man. When we work with artists, we don't want our artists to be on a. We want them to be at their best. We don't want them thinking like, damn, man, I might not get my. I just do, you know what I'm saying? So it's it's, a, it's it's called business integrity. Right. And we stand on it, you know what I'm saying? Right. And we stand on it, bro. Because I For feel sure. like, it, you know, if you're not with some people that stand on any type of respect and honor, where are we going? Because after a while, you, you're going to get caught. Right. Whatever, you know what I mean? You just can't keep running, you know what I'm saying, the scam in the game forever. Like, everything has its runs. Yeah. COVID had a run, you know what I'm saying? Now, mm -hmm. everything was dirt cheap. Now, everything is, you know what I mean? Super everything high. has a limit. So you know what I mean? How long are you gonna keep playing that bullshit game mm -hmm. with this dirty industry the way they play it? But I'm great. I'm 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 gonna say this before I say this. Great things happen when you pay attention. Right. And I feel like at the time when that whole bath thing was going on, you may not knew it, but it was really schooling you for your future. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Just... And unfortunate, whatever situations might have took place, he's still strong. He's still running, and y'all yeah. still here. Right. Cause some people can't take seeing that and be like, yo, it's not really I really thought it was gonna mm -hmm. be. 
My boy, yeah, like, like, man, like Bath, he went through a depression stage, you know what I'm saying, where he wanted to take his life. So um, I always, his failures, I took that, you right. know what I'm saying? I, I learned from him, and um, I'm so happy he's, he's in a great space now, man. He's a homeowner. He's still doing music. He has a great wife, a great family, and um, yeah, man. It was man, just yeah. a moment. Yeah, it was just a moment. It really, was just that, a moment. And, and, I, and really, you know, and me being... Never been in the industry directly, seeing things on the outside, having a little couple of things peeking in, looking out. It is, I see that game is it can eat you up because and we live in a society we so caught up in the lights and the flash and the glamour and the hype that, you know, we strive to live up to something that we really may not be. And this industry is pushing you. Yo, I need you to on this shit or mm -hmm. we it's not gonna go. But let me ask you this, you being an R and B artist, does it separate that type of bullshit? Because all you got to really do is just write some great music. It's not the pressure of so much of an image. Mm -hmm. Or is it? Because I don't know. See, um, that's why we're independent. And that's why we st I stand on independence. Um, because I do what I want to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? I just I, I invest in the money and I do what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm on my time. So that's the difference. A label mm -hmm. was like... We don't want you to wear all black and Balenciagas. We, we want you to throw this on, the tight jeans. and um, right. you, you know what I'm saying? I, I, that's not me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so being independent, you know, owning your shit, I could be who I want to be. I could be 100% myself. At all times. At all, at all times. At all times. And that's the difference. Right. You know, and if we do, if the, the label do come, and, they, and they, when they come, they got to come with the bag. Right. It's going to be understood that this is what we're doing over here. Right. If not, we're not doing it. You know right. what I'm saying? We're not just going to sell ourselves yeah. just for a look. Not for a or look, Or to nah. say we down with this label. Because really, man, the whole label game ain't the game like it once was when we yeah. first started. They just so, fired all the A&R. It's like, right. it's, so like, it's like, I was talking to somebody about that. It's funny. With, it's like back in the days, you was you had talent. Now you just got to have a quick microwave move. And, that's it. They're going to recycle it That's and redo it. it and put something else and sugarcoat mm -hmm. it and redash it. Yep. So let me ask you this, man. You say you do everything. So let me ask you your pen game, man. Oh, pen game is stupid. It is. It's stupid. It is. It's stupid. Let, 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 let's talk about that pen game on that last joint you dropped, man. Okay. Which one? It's, um, that Circle Back. Circle the Back. Album, I'm, I'm, which I'm, is out I'm, now. Which is, I want to talk about Circle Back right okay. now. Because okay. Because I don't even want to circle back. I want to talk about it right now. <laughs> yes, sir. Number one, what inspired you to do that? What, what was, where was you at in your zone in that time, man? Um, Cause it seemed like you was in a great space. Great space. I just wanted to circle back. Is pretty much like we spending a block on on R and B music. I picked. You that know up. what I'm saying? Like if you listen to the album, it's um. It's not this modern day. It's, it's not. It's not it's this. Not, it's, 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 sonically, it sounds like that a little bit. A little bit. A little in little bit. certain areas. Uh huh. But it also takes you back. It has the foundation of. The 90s, 2000 R&B. So that's what Circle Back was about. It's about spinning the block. Let's get back to the roots of R&B. Let's start writing with some con some real content. We're not just saying anything. Um, <clears throat> let's put some harmonies. <laughs> let's start Let's start singing a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and yeah. And that's where I was with, with Circle Back, man. You definitely was in your bag in that. Congratulations. Thank on you, that man. Success. Thank you. Thank you to and my if team. You don't have it. Yeah, it's a man. must because I heard and I hit you up. Like, yo, my man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, Definitely I'm did, an RB bro. dude. Yes. So I'm big on that. You know what I mean? And it it just it really did take me back to that 93, 94 mm -hmm. RB era, that smooth, laid back. You're talking with something. We're not, you know, we fucking the night. You're coming over, I'm gonna beat your brains out. It wasn't that. It was kind of like that back in the days when you had to go get a phone number. <laughs> Right. When it wasn't just, yo, give me your phone or what's your Instagram? It was, yo, how you doing? When you knew your phone number, when you knew 40 phone numbers by heart. Oh, exactly, <laughs> man. You know what I mean? It was that era and that yeah, time. And that yeah. time was feel good time. Right. You know what I'm saying? That was feel good music. You know what I mean? And the chicks had baggy clothes on. You didn't even know what she was packing unless we had got her right. to the crib. So that was that era of that glow, that time, that, that freeness. Because, man, that thing, man, that you put together with that, what made you choose a certain producers or that was just your whole immediate team. That was my whole immediate team. Yeah. Wow. And these dudes are super, super talented. Shout out to Dre and Zay, man. I love my brothers. We, st we stand on God, bro. Like when I tell you, when I tell you we pray for each other, we pray with each other, you know, we pray with our artists, we pray for our artists. Um, and then everything else is just history. When we get in that, when we get in the, the space together, it's Voltron. You know what I mean? And I love working with different creatives, there's no egos involved. The goal is to 
create the best song possible. You know what I'm saying? Right. And um, creating like that, man, you get projects like Circle Back. Yeah, but let's talk about the one before Circle Back. A turbulence? Right. Oh, woo! Classic. Yeah. And the name, to me, I laughed at it. Cause I'm just I'm bumping to him like yo this guy is, he's got a lot of slick shit. <laughs> yo, it really was that turbulence. Mm -hmm. But in that feel good laid back, yo, I'm on my shit. Mm -hmm. I felt like you was honestly, I felt like you was talking a little shit in turbulence. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was talking real, real life shit though. Because I know yeah. that, but you was talking your shit. Yeah, too. yeah, like, yeah. You yeah. was. I was in was my bag. I was in my bag. See turbulence, right? All right. It was a turbulence is the is a relationship, right? So imagine going on this trip, right? And this, this is the beginning of a relationship, going on a trip. Just imagine, in the beginning of a relationship, everything is beautiful. You're holding hands, you're going walks in the park, you might do a picnic, y'all going on dates and shit like that. And when you're going on a trip, you're excited. And it's the beginning. It's We're about rush. to get on this flight. You know what I'm saying? To somewhere, to paradise. Yeah, we never went before then we going together. Right, and then we going together, right? When you get on that plane, when you in a, the midst of the storm in a relationship, it's turbulence. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, build, I'm big on old school loving, going through the turbulence and fighting for your Looking love. Out. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we all been on a plane that's been turbulence, but we still get to that destination, that paradise. And that's what turbulence was about, bro. Mm. Mm. That was a great way to put it. <laughs> yeah. Right? Woo! Yeah, if you yeah. don't know about it. Yo, please, man, tap it, in. Can they still get this? Yes, it's on all streaming platforms. Just type in Ron Thomas Turbulence. Um, real quick, I just I remember um we put the, the album out, man. This guy DM'd me, man. And he was like, yo, this album, you don't even understand, bro. He was like, it's like when you wrote this album, it was like you had a ladder with binoculars looking through my home with me and my wife, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like he was like, it's exactly how our relationship was at that time, and he was like, that shit was therapy for me, and I was just like, that's what I love about music, bro. That's what I do it for. You know what I'm saying? Like when you get that response, bro. When you healing people, when you helping people with your God given gift, man, I can't. I don't, I don't want nothing else, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's funny you say that, bro. And I'm, I'm gonna be transparent on that. I'm gonna bounce back. I felt like that was circle back though. Wow. I felt like that was my yo, I went I yo, I listened to that almost for 10 days straight going to work and doing work and while I was at work. Like it was just it was it was just sort of refreshing. Mm -hmm. Refreshing. Thank you, man. And it, it, it was a feeling like, yo, somebody get something that a lot of us lose. And I felt like he was in touch. Yes. Yes. And a lot of a lot of cats with this music thing. Don't be in touch, especially with this R and B. And I'm gonna say this to all the up and come artists. And listen, I'm not an A and R. I'm not. I'm not Dev. I'm none of that. But I'm a cat who loves music. Yo, you, when you're doing R and B, you got to be in touch with us, the audience. That yo, that was so key. How in tune you was, and I was like, yo, my man, for somebody that just is just freely writing this. I would love to understand the space in each one of these songs, man. Because I, what I do is when I create, <clears throat> I don't just pull from myself. I, me, I have a conversation. I pull from that. My friends, you know, we, we got to, my, my boys, we had this thing called Fellas Night. Where all, all of my friends are married, pretty much, you know. And if not, then uh, somebody's in a relationship. But we, we vent there. So I get a lot of that energy and I put a lot of that shit in my music. You know what I'm saying? My other boys, we got this shit called the chat. It's therapy for us. We on the chat every day for hours. And we, you know, I'm just pulling from everything. All my friends, anything I'm around. And I just put it in music, man. But that's genius for you because your creative thoughts is not just based around your foundation. It's based around your understanding of listening. Yes, absolutely. And I want you to everybody understand what I said. I said listening. So he's taking the time out. And he's not looking for any type of bullshit. He's just listening, listening. to his team, his brothers vent to each other as we all do, because y'all women do it. We everybody has a crew that they got a team that they vent to. Right. And he's bringing that to the platform, not in a way of negativity or disrespect, but really just saying, "Yo, listen, man. Let me think. Let me throw this out to the masses." So I'm taking this whole puzzle and I'm making it a masterpiece. For these strangers. Mm -hmm. That's genius of you, bro. Thank you, man. That's genius because a Thank lot of this music right now, Cats is not even writing this shit. No. 
So that's another thing why I call you the genius of this shit. And I got to be honest with you, it pushes you a lot further than a lot of other cats that just out here singing. Yeah. Because I could tell it's you and your core. It's not, okay, my man is over there. Yo, jot this thing down. Let me just throw my throw my ablis and do nah. what I do. Now, does that cheat an artist if they're not writing, man? Um, <clears throat> I don't think so. Okay. I don't. I don't judge writers that don't. I mean, artists that don't write. Um, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> right. You know I what mean, I'm saying? And, and you should, but yeah. at some point in time, you still being that creative. Yeah, you got to pick on. You got to pick up on some stuff. That's what I'm about to say. How long can you run that race? Yeah. Like, How long are you just gonna keep not writing? If I'm in a listen, if I'm in a building, if I if, if I'm working with if I'm working with like these writers, some amazing writers, man, I'm soaking all that shit up. Bro. Okay. <laughs> okay. You got to, man. Okay. Like, and you add it to your, your sauce. You know what okay. I'm saying? Okay. Let's switch lanes for a minute, man. Cool, you, cool. You're a family man. Abs family man. A business first. man. Yes. A father. Absolutely. How do you balance all that, man? How do you balance the two? Because it's definitely two different worlds. Prayer. <laughs> well, prayer is that. Yo, that's, yeah. I believe in, that, in every aspect of your life, we should be doing that. Yes. How do you balance that? Because you know the R and B cats are supposed to be the single, the single dudes for the chicks, but meanwhile the family's over here like, hey, when you get on stage, <laughs> baby girl got homework to do. Yeah. But how how do you balance all that, King? Because you're doing um, a great job of it. First, first off, man, you make it look great. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. First off, man, I have an amazing partner, man. My wife is amazing. Um, she understands what it takes to go to the next level. Um. And her being happy makes it so much easier for right, me. Right, you know what I'm saying? And right. we was the, I mean, we've been together since we was teens. So she know the grind. She understands it, man. And that make my life so much easier. Um, Business-wise, man, I, also my wife is my business partner too. Right. So, so, and she's a beast. You know, I learn from her every day. Um, she get to it. She get the ground running. She get on the ground running. You know, I'm a, I'm a visionary, and that's what that's what having great partners are. You got to understand, when you're a leader, you got to understand what you're good at and what you're not good at. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a visionary, right? So I can have a vision. I can tell it to my wife. My wife is on the ground moving, getting it done. You know what I'm saying? And that's the blessing in our relationship. And also, man, we travel. Travel, is that, that's the balance. So when it all comes down to it, man, we all, we're all we always traveling. Um, my kid, my, my son... Um, Ron, he's in college. You know, he's That's doing his thing, HBCU. He know your son, Quan. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, and my, I have a daughter, you know, Riley, Tasia. It's good. Yo, it's not hard at all, man. When you when you deeply rooted into yourself, when you when you feel good mentally and you good in yourself, man, everything else is extra, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yo, I, yo, first and foremost, respect to you and your family. Yeah. You know what I mean? Your partner, she gets it, she understands it. Because we live in a day and a time where there's so much hype and so much nonsense, we can lose focus of mm -hmm. who we are and what we are. Yes, absolutely. I respect the black love that y'all, and I ain't going to say show. I'm going to say that y'all represent. Yes. Because when I see y'all, I see the unit, I don't see, you know, you can tell when it's the bullshit, champ. Let's just be real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you can tell. And I, but I, I come from a true family home, so mm -hmm. I also could tell love. Yes, yes. I could tell yes. unity. I could tell happiness. I could tell togetherness, oneness, newness. And I, I admire that. Yes. So salute to y'all. Yes, and I you, feel man. like that's even taking y'all, that pushes you a little further than a lot of other cats that's in the industry. Mm -hmm. You're not getting dangled with the carrot. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Now, you and your wife got into business together. Yes. Man. Um, most may say, man, you're doing too much. <laughs> mm -hmm. Most. Yes. What made you say, hey, nah, I can't, I'm not doing nothing with it if we ain't doing it together? Um, it always was. A plan, okay. Um, but when COVID hit, I let them know what you're doing. Oh yeah, yeah. They I'm sorry. Even let yes, them yes, know yes, yes, yes. I'm we, sorry. We got caught up. Uh, I'm sorry. It's, our business is called the Thomas Family Practice. It's a it's a health clinic. Um, we see f whole families, man. My wife is an MP. Um, and man, we got black people. We're we're, we're deeply rooted into the community in Mount Vernon, man. And they're coming through the doors. And we're helping a lot of people, man. Um, and just, I know I'm going off topic, but a lot of our kids are depressed, man. And we need more therapists. Because, we, you know, we got kids that come to us that need that help. 
And then you try to go book them an appointment, it's six months down the line, and we need it right away. So, um, yes, man, I, I just please, man. We guys, we need more therapists. We need Yo, more, yeah. We, 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 so we got to get the kids help. We got to get people help. Mental, mental health is very important. You know what I mean? Um, yes, man. We have a practice. Um, we're thriving for greatness, and the plan is to open up everywhere, man. I want, I want to get one in Englewood. I want to get one. You know, nah, it's so when we do, when, when we get yeah, when when we do you know it, I mean? when we it's, do it, it's when we getting one. Yes, it, it's 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 crazy that you said that about the youth, man. And we are gonna touch on that for a second because you're in that industry, and you know, when I was growing up, we ain't even taught therapists was the last thing in conversation. My mother, you better, yeah, yeah, it was. It, I ain't gonna front in my house. My parents were very big on the Lord. They still are to this day. Mm -hmm. So I ain't gonna say they didn't believe in it, but that era, we wasn't talking about that. Now, because back then, we didn't know who was depressed. Mm -hmm. Now, it's kind of, everybody's kind of free with it. But I, I feel like it's a little crazy because when I was growing up, I didn't think about taking my life. No, me either. Like, and I, I found myself being, you know, I, my son can't live with me full time. I had to think about those things. He never went through it, shout out to him. But I used to be like, yo, you good? You all right? Because mm -hmm. I always, you know, you hear about the mental. So yeah. I, now I'm on, you know, I'm hands-on dad now. Yes, absolutely. So now you just in your room and the door closed. Hold up, champ. What's going on? Yes. I need to talk to you. You good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You on your game? Is everything all right? And I'm kind of letting the society say, yo, check on your kids because the mental. Yes. But, you know, I feel like us as parents, yo, we got to pay attention to that. Yes, man. Like, like yo, man, you know I, mean? I, try to, I try to tap it with my son. I know he's in college doing his thing. It don't matter. Uh, it don't matter. It don't matter. You know yeah, I mean? it, it, it and don't matter. You know matter. that. You know what I mean? And I know it, you know that. It don't matter. And then plus now, like this era of um, kids, man, they're real introverted. You know what I'm saying? So my goal, even like my personal goal this summer is to spend more time with my son. You know what I'm saying? Because I, like, I feel like the time we not spending together when he home, I feel like he missing out on the jewels that I got to teach him. Mm. Because like we trying to build a legacy and it's stuff that he got to know. Right. It's stuff that he got to, if something happened to me, he got to know how to move. Mm -hmm. You know, my this we have that we got we renting out a house in Inglewood. I he got to know how to deal with that. Right. You know what I'm saying? He got to know how to deal with the practice. He a psych major too, so he his office is gonna be in our office. So right. it's like it's mad stuff that he got to know. And instead of asking, because a lot of times I'm like, come on, like you want to come with me? I'm asking, and he like he introvert. He like no, nah, I'm in his own little space, but I'm not asking no more. I'll be like, yo, come on, we going here because right. it's the little intricate conversations that build them to be great men. Right. You know what I'm saying? And. That's my personal goal, man. He's a great kid. I love him. Super talented. But now I got to start instilling those uh, those values and those those core morals, and you know, teaching them little in intricate things about our business and about what we're trying to leave him and his sister. So if anything happened to us, he you know, know how to, he know how to move. Get the baton. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, you said, yeah. Like yes. You said the marathon, pass the baton. You keep. Running. You feel like you you don't want to bust your ass, do all this, and then y'all something happened to y'all. And they don't know how to handle it. And it falls and, to and it falls to pieces and it's a waste. Especially when you work that hard. Yeah, out so. there. And you're in the community, for, especially for the community of YO. Right. Where y'all at right now, we would want to keep this thing going. Just yes. To, it, it, when it moves on, you can be in this facility. And we over here. Yeah. So I get it. You definitely yeah, teaching the legacy, man. Right. How is it out there in YO touching the community, man? Because at the end of the day, we don't, you know, growing up, I ain't really see us as we wasn't, you know, we saw the opposite color when we went to the doctor, or we saw the West Indians. Now yeah. we're seeing us. Yes, yes, and man. And it makes us more safer to come to us. Mm -hmm. You know what and I mean? And, you know, we could talk to us a yes. little bit more in depth than you would talk to doctor, you know, no disrespect to any other nationality, but we're not going to sit there and hold a, it goes back to the therapy. We're not going to talk to somebody we no, can't I, even our color. Yo, listen. Especially back then. Yo, I was, I was looking, listening to this interview with Denzel Washington, and they asked Denzel... Why did y'all choose this producer to produce the movie and not this producer? And he was like, listen, it's not a racial, it's not a racist thing, it's not a racial thing, it's a cultural thing. He said, you and I understand how it smells when a hot comb hits a black girl's hair on a Sunday morning. It's a cultural thing. So it's it's cultural with medicine too. Uh, my, my wife understands another female. She goes through the same thing. She understands a man because she she deals with her husband every day. So it's a difference. It's a difference, man, and it's important to 
it, 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 I know it's like people be like, but you know, us other black people be like, I don't really want to, you know, use another black. You know how they be iffy on their own See, people. It be they. But what I say is, give it a devil, shot. It be the devil. Yeah, really yeah. Let, let it be the ignorance of the devil playing in your mind. But, oh, I'm not gonna let them know this. But you let the other man know, so what's the difference? I'm right. here to help you. <laughs> right, It right. don't matter the color of my skin, but I would want you to be more comfortable, and I, we maybe might be understanding, and we mm -hmm. can get you more help. Yo, man, listen, it's our practice is not the typical clinic doctor's office, man. It's a vibe, bro. My vision for that was different, man. It looks like it's modern. It don't. It looked like somebody nice living room. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's giving that home feel. We're playing R and B music. Right. So when they come in, they like this. I'm going to see Dr. Thomas. You know what I'm saying? So they don't want to leave when they when they come to us. You know what I'm saying? So that was the culture I wanted to create in that space. So black people could be like, yo, because when people go on to, when people go to the doctor, you'd be scared. You Why know what I'm saying? <laughs> yo, I hear it. Yo, I yo, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, first of all, and another mission of ours is to get men in front of their health. Because we don't go to the doctor, bro, unless we're in a in critical condition. So that's my mission. Also, guys, get you don't gotta be me. Get checkups, bro. We dropping at a high alarming rate. And heart disease, you know what heart disease look like? Shamik, you know what it looks like? It looks just like me and you, brother. It don't have a look. You can feel and look good, but your heart will be in shambles. Mm. So brothers, please get to a doctor. Mm. You can also come Ooh. to us, Mount Vernon, <laughs> 6 Grimmington Avenue, Suite 402, man, the Thomas Family Practice. We see all families. We take a lot of the main insurances. Yo, give us a call, man. You know what I'm saying? You heard it. And it's a vibe. You heard it. <laughs> and it's a vibe. You heard it. Yep. Like this is, you know, <laughs> this is a key moment in the black community for us men. You know what I mean? Me personally, man, I'm 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 paying attention to my lifestyle. Yes. You know what I mean? Because I'm getting up there. You know, my team is, you know what I mean? We all fighting. We and let's let's not, you know, stop fronting and, and let's start communicating with each other to say, yes. hey, bro, do you know where I can go? to see a doctor or I've been feeling like this. And I'm saying this, please, to us. Yes, man. Let's stop acting like everything is just Gucci and pick up the phone and say, hey, bro, yo, you got Ryan's information? I need to go see the doctor. Yes. Because, yo, I'd rather you go to the doctor than go to the mall. Right, right. I, if we got to go together, we can set up these appointments, but let's really start, act, stop fronting and acting like it's a secret. It would take 30 minutes, bro. It's shit. Physical we, 30 you know minutes, I mean? bro. It, it's, it's here, and we're here to help, and we got a black family that's running a black-owned business that's giving us a safe haven. We need, to, we, need to, we need to tap in ASAP. I don't care if you already got a doctor. Still tap in, because tap it's in. all about, yo, communicating, because, yo, like, <laughs> shout out to the families that lost individuals this yes, week. Yes, yes, man. You know what I mean? Let, Shout out yes. to the families that's dealing with someone that's suffering, their friends or someone you know that's suffering. Yo, let's keep them in prayer. Let's uplift them. Yes. Let's stop talking about the bullshit and let's pray for them and let's do what we need to do as individuals. Yes. Because we got brothers like this who have these practices that we need to bring in our mm -hmm. team and our family and our loved ones, man. But back to this, man, because we locked in for a minute. Yeah, that's yeah, a touchy yeah, situation, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. And I'm glad you brought that yes, up because yes. the culture needs to understand. Yes. We got to stop playing. Early detection, man. Early detection is very imperative. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because you could get to it, you could fix it, and you could be good. But us not going to the doctor, not knowing nothing, not knowing, you feeling good. You is it a sense of fear for the black? Is it I think, I think so. For I me, I think for the black man, I think your brothers be scared to death to know what's going on with them. Yes. But so you just going just not know and to just pat it just. You know, I don't I mean, agree with that. But that's what it is, though. That's what it is. I mean, it's easier for you to say, but you also know the other side. Yo, we be scared to go because yeah. it's like, I don't want to deal with the reality of knowing something is fucked up. So I'd rather just fall out. <laughs> that's like the dumbest shit in the world. Oh, that's, fellas, go to the doctor. Forget the fear, bro. Go to the doctor. Nine times out of 10, everything is Gucci. But at least you have that mental clarity that, listen, I'm okay. And if you're not, you can you still, still get the help that you need so Absolutely. you can stay healthy. Yeah. Feel free to reach out, man. Man, so you've been doing all these things, man. Yes, man. Over a certain amount of time, man, it's been so much progress and success. I got always got to ask all, you know, great entrepreneurs, man, and hustlers, <clears throat> man. How many times have you looked at yourself in the mirror and said, man, F this, man. This ain't for me. What the fuck did I sign up for? <laughs> Yesterday? <laughs> no. Nah, it's, you know what it is, man? When you, when you have a certain mindset, you know it all comes with the territory. And I've been practicing this for like the last month. Whatever I can't control, I'm not stressing about it. Whatever I can, 
I get it done. But whatever's out of your control, bro, sit back, woo try to figure this shit out. Because you doing this shit, you will, you'll take your own life. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, it's, it could be stressful, man. And, Especially um, when you're juggling. Yeah, when, and yeah, yeah. When you, when you got a lot of hats, man, it could be stressful. But when I, I love every minute of it, of all of it. You know what I mean? So when you love what you're doing, and I think, and that's what success is, when you're doing what you love. Mm. That's what success. It's not about the money. It's not about the, the cars, the big houses. It's about waking up every day happy about what you're doing and what you're putting in the universe. And that's that's what success is to me personally. And you are successful on so many levels. No, thank you. You know what I mean? And I say that with all great honesty, brother, because first of all, the glow is a success glow. Your energy is successful. You know what I mean? Your mind state is successful, man. You know thank I mean? you. The way you see life, the way you view your family, the way you know where you striving to go, yes. and where you, what the plan is, you being a husband yes. has been successful because you and your wife wouldn't have made it this far without the teamwork. At all. So you guys been successful on so many levels. We come from the bottom. We come from the mud. Like I, I just want everybody to know that too. Like yeah. we come from, like I mean, this wasn't no, this yes. wasn't no Ricky. I'm talking about. Shit. I'm talking about. I'm talking about like sleeping on the floor, mattresses, uh, a small TV on a on a crate. You feel what I'm saying? Like, and, and that's... Yeah, right. but now you're island hopping. You know, yo, and, and and I'm so thankful. You know what I'm saying? And, and I give it, we owe it all to God, man. I know those those prayers that my grandmother, my my, my parents was doing, they're working. My prayers, they're still working, working. And they're still working, man. God, God rest my, my grandmother's soul. She just passed like two months ago. Um, and I, I know it's those prayers, bro. That's that's why I am, because she was the, like the foundation, and she's a part of who I am, man. And I know um, that it's all God's work, bro. And I respect the For fact sure. that you're not afraid to let people know that. Oh, no, nah, not at all. I let them know in a heartbeat, without God be the glory. You Absolutely. Know, it's, it's funny how life can spin you. People don't really be understand that you talk about God, but you do this, you do that. It's not a, yo, God is a loving God and a justful God. He don't really, I'm not saying that you're out here raping and killing and doing lives and he still, he still repent. Yo, those that did all that, he's still taking them back. Yes. You know what I mean? So let's get that clear. It's no <laughs> thing. You know what I mean? So, yo, we got to keep whatever you believe in. I'm not going to, we're not going to push that on nobody. Yeah, not, not But at all. just know for us, it's a God. That's what God, yo, people don't even know. It's God's timing. Me and you, I, we've been playing tennis to do yeah, this. Yeah, 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 right. And it all came out in the perfect time. And so God's it goes time. to show you yeah. God's timing. Like we was reaching, mm -hmm. we was, ah, I'm going to get back. Yo, time, life, we'll get back. Mm -hmm. It wasn't personal, it wasn't, I didn't take it that way, and here we are today, and I'm able to really sit here and tell the world, yo, man, this guy right here, man, stands on nothing but greatness, man, and, yes, and the grace you, of man. God and the energy that keeps him going, and I admire you, King. Thank you, and I'm, man. I'm able to say that with so much passion because you keep me going. I watch you, bro. I watch what you're doing. I'm Appreciate watching you, your man. family moves. I'm watching how you always bring in the family and, the, and representing the team, man, and, Thank and, you, and, man. and loyalty. So. I had words I was going to throw at you. I had to change because I know those words is too easy. So I'm going to start off with one word first, and I'm going to say Harlem. What is Harlem to you, King? Um, Harlem is, uh, is the foundation of my, my whole family. Um, that's where it started. Um, and I, I, I want to throw the Bronx in there, too, because I lived in the Bronx for a, a, period, a long period okay. of time, too. Shout out to 1005, my, 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 um, all my peoples in 1005. But, um, yes, um, that's where the foundation started, bro. I would say foundation. That's the word. Okay. Okay. Uh, family. <laughs> Everything. Okay. Your legacy. Consistency. Mm. And I'm going to hit you with this, man. R&B music. Uh, longevity. Longevity, bro. I want. I want to do this. I'm. I'm always gonna do music, bro. Like it's my therapy. It's my therapy. It's your. It's your life. It's, it's my. It's your, it's your everything. Yo, bro. We're coming from work, bro. You know, me and my wife work together, so we try to give each other space when we get to the crib. She'll go upstairs, do her little thing. I'm going right to the lab, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's my cool down. It's my therapy. So yes, man. Um, longevity in that, man. I got one last word, man. Sure. Then I'm gonna ask you, man. Ron Thomas. A king. 
They couldn't get no simpler than King, that. King, bro, like, um, I love who I am, bro. Like, and <clears throat> you know how people be like, yeah, like, I don't like saying humble because humbling, it got different definitions. Right. But it, it's, a, it's a way to be um, confident and um, without being an asshole. So when I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I say- And King, arrogant. Yes. So when I say king, man, I mean like- In the sense of every- th Yes, all yes. Four corners, though. All, we, four, we all not, four corners, bro. Like covering everything. Yes, yes. And I'm a black king at that. Yes, so yes. So understand the greatness that stands behind that. Yes. Yo, man, it was an honor to sit down with oh, you, Oh, man, man, this was- I wish we had more time, bro, but yo- it was amazing, man, sitting with you, man. Like I said, man, you're doing an amazing job, Appreciate man. it, man. It's Appreciate inspiring. It, man. I just want you to, I, I, I'm going to pray for you to keep staying consistent, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm on that. Yes, yes, because it's it's only a matter of time, bro. You know, you say that, man. I appreciate that. Thank yes, you. yes, yes. And my prayers stay with you and your family mm -hmm. as well. Please continue to stay consistent yeah, in every yeah. avenue that you're doing as yeah. well. But I, I need I need you and the Kingsman. I need to sit down with y'all too. Let's man. do it. Let's do it. I really would like to sit down with y'all, yes, man. man, and talk about that core. You need to come to Philly, though. Hey, listen, come you to Philly. I mean? I'll drive. But come to Philly. I'm in. I'm in Philly every some... other weekend. We got. A, we got our own nice big space, bro. Come to Philly, man. You know, Great we carpet, gonna, bro. You know what? We are gonna put something together with yep, that, and, we, yep. and I promise the culture that too. We are gonna do that yeah. because when you get that chance to get these alley oops, man, from great artists and great individuals. And great people. So it's not just a certain amount of business. It's also a vibe. It's an energy, man. And to have the opportunity, man. This is my first time meeting King. We right. talked on the phone a few times, but I feel like you know, I've seen him a hundred places and I and I just only seen pictures, man. But it's an honor, man. So Thank yo, I'm you, gonna man. sit down with the team. We definitely coming down there. We're gonna sit sure. down there, man. We're gonna bring out the cameras and we're just gonna enjoy y'all because I need what y'all doing to be put be documented. Yes, yes, man. You know what I mean? It's cool for the Instagram with the phones, but I need I need y'all to have that in the catalog. Yes. You know what I mean? And yo, man, you know what it is, man. It's the boys, the God. voice of the culture, Appreciate man. Appreciate you, man. Bro. RT, man. Yes, man. Thank King you. in the building, man. Thank let you. them know where they can find you, your music. Yeah. So hold up, before the music, let them know where they can find the practice. The practice is in Mount Vernon. It's called Thomas Family Practice. It's in Mount Vernon, 6 Gramerton Avenue, Suite 402. My Instagram handle was Ron Thomas Music. Um, Kingsman, um, the Kingsman page is Kingsman. Um, and uh, hey, I didn't tap in. We do, we do got the juice bar too, man. Um, the juice. Where is it at? We right now we looking for we looking for a location. But I, I started that hit during the pandemic, like right before the pandemic. We was gonna get a um, a commercial space in Inglewood, but the pandemic hit, right. and that pushed things back. But yo, shout out yo, shout out to the shop, Ty. Yo, yo, Todd and Barbie, yo, they supported me crazy, bro, during the... I was making them juices. Yo, it was, yo, it's a vibe, bro. My juices is good. We looking for a location now. But yeah, the juice then. Yeah, please, get on top of that. Yes, sir. Health is wealth, man. You Hell know yeah. I, mean? I just got my packet in. Y'all see, I be doing my beats thing, striving to stay Oh, yes, course, sir. Man. And in tune with the greens, the beats. Just, just striving to stay here, like we said, man. This, this life is too short. Mm -hmm. Let's live. Let's give God the glory. Yo, you know what it is. The voice of the culture. My yes, man, sir. Ron Thomas. We in Inglewood. Yo, love is love. We out of here. One, yeah. one. King. My God, appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Yes, Thank you.